Hello, Curly. Um, in Curlax. Today, this is going to be, I don't know, I guess this is a random video, I want to say. Um, I'm going to introduce you guys to my smoothie. I bought these ingredients from NaturallyJazzy.com. She also has a channel. You want to check her out. She has a really good smoothie recipe on there. Um, what I'm going to introduce you guys to is these hair packs I put in my smoothie. I don't do this every day. I don't add these powders in my smoothie every day, but I do add these powders, I want to say, three times out of the week. I'm going to give you guys a brief information about these powders. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that is sea kelp. You can't really see that well, but that's sea kelp, um, two ounce of it. Um, sea kelp is also known as seaweed. It's filled with vitamins and minerals like A, B, um, B2, C, D, E, amino acids, and a lot of minerals, iron, iron, sulfur, silicone, calcium, zinc, magnesium, um, potassium, and a lot of other, and a lot of others. Um, it's also high in iodine. Iodine is good for us, but too much iodine is not good for us. So I suggest you to use like. I want to say half of a tablespoon, I mean half of a teaspoon. Um, I also have horsetail here, I don't know if you can see that there's two ounces of horsetail. Well actually I've already used some of it. But horsetail, horsetail aids in rejuvenating hair follicles to trigger hair growth. It also helps with shedding now. I really had a severe issue with shedding. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the season changing or what. But this horsetail, adding horsetail to my smoothie, smoothies, within a week I noticed a huge difference with the shedding of my hair. I mean, a huge difference. Um, horsetail is also rich in silica, which body, which our body needs to stimulate hair growth. It also makes our hair shiny thick and strong so it's a really good additive to put in your smoothie or in your food if you like I prefer putting it in my smoothie um, I also she also sent me a little sample packet of sage powder I haven't tried it yet and I haven't did my little research on my own personal research on sage powder so um, we're gonna I'm go, before I use this I'm gonna um, do some more research. She also sent me Naturally Jazzy. I love her. She also sent me um, two little hair clips for free, which is so cute. But unfortunately, my niece, um, I ended up putting them in my niece's hair, and she looks so adorable in them, so I just gave it to her. I bought this smoothie cup. This is too cute. This smoothie cup um, is washable. A smoothie cup from Walmart, it was only like five dollars. It was only like five dollars at Walmart. Dishwasher safe and it comes with a straw. Let me see if I can get that down open for you guys. Alright. Here we go. Um it's really sturdy. It came with a straw. Um, it's really thick, and it's about 24 full ounces, so this is my breakfast smoothie um, cup, basically. I put, make my smoothie in my blender and then put it in here. So let's get started. Give me a second, ladies. You're going to need, if you want to make this smoothie, or... If you want to go on Be Naturally, Be Naturally Jazzy's website, you could also find another recipe. But this is my own recipe I normally use in the morning, and I just incorporated these um, herbs into my smoothie. But you're going to need a measuring um, spoon or utensil, your blender. I got me some frozen whole strawberries, no sugar added, because my yogurt and banana and um, 
pineapples are going to give me a lot of sugar. If I want more, you could always add honey. I add about, with clean hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 14, 14 strawberries, in other words, a cup of strawberries. Also, we're going to use the horse tail. I mean, this is sea kelp. So I'm going to put in about, let's see, half a teaspoon. I don't know why my camera's out of focus, but that's half a teaspoon of sea kelp. I don't know if you could see that. Or less. It's up to you. It depends on what you what's your preference. Alright. This is horse tail. Some horse tail that's also half a teaspoon or less, it's up to you. So, we're going to put that in there. All right, coconut milk by Silk Pure Coconut Milk. I um, made vanilla. I use this for my smoothie, <laughs> but I just eyeball it. Let's see if I can move the camera so you guys can see exactly what I mean by eyeballing. All right, this is this right here. What else do I put in? Here? Oh, some yogurt. Put yogurt in here for. This is. Let's scoop this back some. This is Yo Play um, original. Yogurt. I also use. Where's my um yogurt? I think I'll use this one. I have some Greek yogurt by YoPlay with two times the protein, so that's good. So see, with Greek yogurt, it's a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really thicker than. There are other yogurt, so I'll put some Greek yogurt, any yogurt of your choice. I don't use the whole um, container, sadly to say. One container of yogurt could always, it gets me like two. One container of this Greek yogurt makes me about two smoothies. Mm, that's good. Now, I like to use Dole's Pineapple Mango Juice. I love this stuff. I, sometimes I drink this stuff by itself. It is so good. But I put it in this container because you don't want to use metal. You don't want to keep metal in your juice in an open metal container in the refrigerator. That's not good for you. I can't remember exactly why. But my mom said that's not good. So always has to go with my, what mom says. <sighs> but I put it in an old aloe vera juice container. And you just, you can also eyeball it. Let's turn this over. You can also eyeball it. And now not most people put Okay, now most people put pineapples in their smoothie, but I like to put fresh pineapples. I went to the farmer's market and got me some fresh pineapples, and I put fresh pineapples in my smoothie. So probably about one, two, 
three in there. Being that I'm a semi-health nut, I also use chloroform because chloroform is good for if you want to, if, well, for me personally, I hate taking iron pills and I hate all the vitamins that you're supposed to take to, I don't know, I guess the vitamins you're supposed to take. So what I do is I substitute it for chloroform. And... Chloroform is extracted from alfalfa leaves. Um, it's really good for you. It's it's healthy and it keeps everything flowing. For you ladies that do not like to drink eat vegetables and all your green stuff, then this might be the go who for you. I just put a probably I eyeball it, so um, you could get that at Amazon or a uh, local um, pharmacy, not farmer's market, but um, health food store. And they could tell you all about that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just stuttering and all this other stuff. You need to give me a tripod. That's what I'm going to invest next. But, yeah, that's all I put in my smoothie. Then I cover up this bad boy. And I... And it's not too green from all of the herbs, and then it's not too green from the um, alfalfa leaves, um, aka chloroform. So it's a nice, con thick consistency, and it's a um, um, a fill your upper, I should say. <laughs> but um, sometimes I put protein in it, um, depending on how I'm, if I'm not going to eat protein. Let's say, for instance, I'm not going to have protein for that morning and I'm on a rush and, I'm, I mean, I'm on the go and I'm rushing and I'm not able to, um, sorry, my, I have a cold. Well, not cold, but I have allergies. Um, if I'm rushing and I'm on the go and I'm unable to fix me my regular breakfast, my regular breakfast with protein and whatnot, you, with all, with protein and all the other stuff that you need, I will put protein powder in there. But today I'm not because um, I've already had my protein for breakfast. So, I should say. So, I'm going to pour it into my cutesy cup. Oh, I love this cup. I know it looks just so gross, but it's so yummy. But it's healthy, and it's good for you. And, I mean, I know health is important. And in order for you to grow your hair, your health, you have to be, in order to have healthy hair, you have to have a healthy body. Healthy, healthy body equals healthy hair. You have to nourish your hair from the inside out. So, um, once again... If we are nourishing our bodies from the inside, then our hair is going to be beautiful, like beautiful. And if you have problem with shedding, I can say that horsetail powder, incorporating this into your smoothie or your food or just your drink, period, if you could stand it. But incorporating it into your meal intake or whatnot um, is a good idea because it will help with the shedding. Like I noticed a, a difference within a week, and I've been doing adding these, incorporating these um, herb powders into my smoothies for like three weeks now. And so far, I want to say the horsetail is really standing up to what, um, standing up to its own. It's really helping with the shedding. I'm not losing as much hair when I wash or when I detangled, because before I would lose like a baby kitten worth of hair, <laughs> but um, 
I'm not losing that much hair anymore, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and overall, if we are able to nourish our body, from if we are able to nourish our body, then our hair will be nourished also. Um, sea kelp is, well, sea kelp, a.k.a. seaweed, nourishes the body. And it acts as a hair food for our hair follicles, which promotes hair growth. So this is helping also. Um, so you guys can go out and check out naturallyjazzy.com, get you guys some herbal powders and I must say the powders are inexpensive um, I've searched uh, the website and they charge an arm and a leg and maybe your kidney for these herbal powders but this is a great website and she's she's really sweet and she sent me some samples and also a cutesy gift so I was really appreciative of that um, yeah, so you guys go ahead once again and check out Naturally Jazzy and